Hello, good evening and welcome. It's uh, Saturday the 2nd of September and uh, here we'll, con we'll start as ever with the Australian dollar. Um, <clears throat> we've actually seen a little bit of strength in the Australian dollar uh, over the last couple of weeks and as it's increased the commitment of trade has actually increased their uh, bearish position and uh, so we are expecting this to uh, start following on down and as it, as it comes down obviously uh, the co commitment to traders the commercials will be selling off their bearish position so uh, that's what we're waiting to see and uh, we'll go over to the chart um, we're actually pretty much up to the 80 level which is a, a monthly turning point and very high resistance so uh, I don't expect it to hold through the 80. Uh, we might get up and touch it, but that would be a very good uh, sell area. And uh, the commercials have a short ratio of 5.07 to 1. And the speculators only have a ratio of 2.93 to 1. <clears throat> so we are expecting this to come down, uh, but it, it's up high. It hasn't been too helpful the last few weeks. So, um, I think it's basically well overbought and I'm expecting this to have a, a bit of a downturn. So uh, that's where I am for that. The British pound. This week we've seen a, a slightly higher move in the uh, in the pound um, back up above the 129 level and the commercials have actually added to their longs. So uh, this is uh, making this even stronger so as it, as it moves higher and it starts to uh, gain then basically I'd expect to see the commercials dropping off short so if we just have a quick look at the chart we got the pound USD here um, we, we've uh, just come up uh, underneath a little bit of resistance and uh, we have a commercial ratio of 1.72 to 1 long so um, we're expecting that to move up and as it does we'll expect the commercials to take off uh, some of their long positions and move short next chart we got the Canadian dollar uh, well the commercials have actually added to some of their shorts uh, the um, the Canadian dollar has actually got a bit of strength um, and the, um, the commercials have added to the shorts. Uh, right, so if we go back to the chart, USD CAD. As we see, the uh, Canadian dollar has got a bit of strength. The USD Canadian dollar has fallen and uh, that's happened. So that that's uh, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. So so that was Tuesday. Uh, I would have expected after this for uh, the commercials to have added extra to the shorts for the Canadian dollar, uh, which would have been longs for the pair. At the moment, we have a long commercial ratio of two point one four to one. Uh, so there we go. <clears throat> The euro, the commercials have held this week. We've actually seen uh, the uh, euro fall slightly um, and uh, after Draki's speech um, saying that um, the, uh, the euro, they won't be cutting the quantitative easing. Uh, you know, I I'm expecting to see this definitely not get it above the 120 again I, I think it's definitely going to turn down uh, we've got uh, the commercials directly opposed to the um, speculators which is the way we like to see it and uh, let's just go on to the chart euro dollar wrong chart euro dollar so here we have it uh, we've got a trade in, in profit at the top here. Uh, we're just about to break the trend line. Um, 
and uh, we're pointing down on the RSI. We have got a commercial short ratio of 1.65 to 1. Um, and quite honestly, I really don't see much upside from here. I think I've put a historic um, monthly turning point in at 122. Uh, so uh, basically, well, that's about 350 pips up. Uh, and that, that's then you're coming on to major resistance there. So um, I definitely see that as uh, short. Japanese yen. Um, and as the yen has strengthened, so we've seen the commercials take off some of their longs. Um, I still think this is going to follow through and we're going to see more strength come up in the, in the yen. But um, let's just have a look at the charts. USD, Japanese yen. I think in the short term, we could see a bit more strength in the pair. That would be weakness uh, in, in the Japanese yen, maybe a bit of strength in the dollar. Uh, the commercials have got a short ratio, which has been reduced to 2.18. So some of the longs have come off and we've added shorts. So uh, and over the next couple of weeks, maybe, we might see this um, actually take, take a, a higher uh, stance. So um, be aware of that. Uh, I actually got out down here at 108,600, which I was quite pleased with. And uh, I'm waiting to get back in. Uh, USD index. I don't actually have a chart for the USD index to show you. Um, but I really am expecting more strength in this. The, uh, the volume and open interest is uh, quite strong for this pair uh, next week. Well, it's not, uh, yeah, Mexican peso. Right, the commercials have uh, held steady, steady on this. They're um, very slightly less bearish than they were and the speculators are about the same long as they were um, but um, i'm seeing uh, the pair strengthen this is the us dollar mexican peso so that's weakness on the mexican peso and strength on the uh, on the dollar so we've had the candles making a higher lows so we are moving up and uh, I really want to see this level of uh, the 17.9. Uh, That's a, a weekly turning point. I want to see that broken, <clears throat> bit of strength uh, up. Uh, we are just above the 50. We're 50.7. So uh, hopefully we can see a bit more strength in that go up. New Zealand dollar. Some of the shorts have come off. This is this has moved down really nicely for us. Uh, some of the shorts have come off, uh, which is what you'd expect. Uh, I'm expecting this to move right the way down. So we're going to get the New Zealand dollar coming back down here. Uh, it's the uh, US dollar, New Zealand dollar, and we're already looking for strength in the US dollar. So uh, we should get a, quite a nice big move on this. Um, let's just have a quick look. Here we go. <clears throat> As you can see, this, this has just moved consistently. It, it's been a nice, fairly smooth downward trend. A couple of little, little hiccups here, nothing much. Uh, we've got a short ratio of 3.5 to 1, which is greatly reduced. Uh, we've actually we've moved past the major resistance support. And so in, really, I, I think this, this should fall off short now. I'd like to see the RSI get below the 30.9. And um, I mean, even where it is at the moment, at the best, that is sideways movement, or it just continues in the downward trend. So that would be really nice. What we've got left now, energies. Look at the crude oil. 
crude oil we've actually sold off some of the shorts and we have seen whoops a daisies quite a nice move down here so um there you go i just um have a quick look at the oil here as you see th this has moved down quite nicely it, it is following you could put a trend line on that you know uh, we're just below the 50 and it's turning over so i, I think this is going to follow on down Uh, silver. The um, the commercials have increased the bearishness of silver, and it is looking bearish on um, the open interest and volumes as well. So um, I, I think this I think this should turn down. We've seen a little bit of strength last week. Uh, maybe looking for a bit more uh, short volume on it. Uh, just to confirm that, but that that has been quite a nice uptrend. You know, we've done quite well up there, and I think he's going to start turning down now. Ah. Ah, bom, bom. Stocks the S and P five hundred. Again, um, it's looking bearish this week. Um, We've had this nice uptrend. Uh, I think it's about exhausted. I really can't see much more of a higher high coming. I think this is going to turn down. Uh, I don't know if you saw the charts that uh, I put out last week. And uh, the, the uh, S&P 500 people, uh, they got out down here somewhere when the um, the S&P actually started to increase so much it was going away from true value and true value is down here somewhere so I think this is going to crash back down but uh, we haven't made a higher high and already we're getting weakness coming through on the um, yeah, commitment of traders the Nasdaq yeah, that's still looking fairly yeah bullish uh, the Dow Jones that is looking definitely bearish um, you can see now it, it hasn't been making higher highs it's sort of coming down a bit the weight of the world is upon it the Russell 2000 that is incredibly bullish for the commercials um, yep okay Okay, well that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you again next week.